Hi everyone, uh, it's Brenda and I'm here with a quick share. Um, yeah, I picked up my crochet hooks again after quite a while since I switched over to knitting here. <laughs> and I started making a few of my flowers again because I was inspired by a thought I had. And I wanted to try something out so I figured while I was trying that out and I have my hooks out and I have all my threads out. I should make a little bit more than just a few things. So I made some of these. These are more or less not a flower. These are um, like a small motif. And I have four of those I made. And I try to make as many as I can at one time because it does hurt my hands using such tiny needles, but I have these ones here, which are little tiny flowers. They're just pretty much made out of chains, which I think they're super cute. Um, you do the chain and um, single crochet, but they're super small and really cute. And then I also made a few burgundy and a pink heart. So there's a few of those, and I made one of the wheelhouse flowers, and I really like those too, and some traditional roses. It's um, one layer. I can make these with up to, well, I can make them as big as I want really, but um, they're traditionally two to three, uh, one, two, or three layers, but I did single layers here, so you can layer them with the other flowers. And then I have two of these in, in different sizes, but they're pico flowers. Can you see those teeny tiny little holes? That's actually like where three stitches come together and make a hole to make it like a, almost like a little arch, which is really hard to see in such tiny threads. But two different sizes of those in baby pink. I made a tiny little puff flower, and that one actually does have some dimension if you see that. And then the rest of these are all the same pattern. They're the simple five star. I got some in like a teal color. Well, aqua, it's more bluish. And this yellow. And sorry about the um, shadow guys, it's really gloomy here today. And I got some in cream or ivory. And a small one in the ivory. And I got four in white. Two in the super soft minty green with, um, it's like a silver metallic thread that runs through it as well. It look, well, to me, it looks more white on the camera. Hopefully you could see it. <laughs> and then this one is actually a silver metallic, and you can see the metallic in that one. Those are the ones I normally make. Now, these are the ones I was inspired to do. And a while ago, Daniela Scheiss Mueller, I'll link her channel below, had gifted me a set of three buttons that were really pretty, and I wanted to try something with them, and I never got around to it. So, this is what I come up with. It's a really beautiful button, and I made into a flower. And I think this would be great on any of your projects, you know, your cards or your altered items, or these would also be great for flip books and pocket letters. Uh, fun to make and super neat. And recently, Christina Crafty Paws, oops, sorry guys, I didn't mean to hit the camera. Um, yeah, Christina Crafty Paws had gifted me some buttons for the Make a Wish video from Crafty Lori, so I'll link Crafty, Pla Crafty Plaz and Crafty Lori as well um, below so you can see the channels. And here is a super tiny button that I made into like a dogwood flower, which I thought was super sweet. And a green one. And it's got the ivory around it. And these are, I made these all 
<clears throat> in one night, all these. Um, it really doesn't take me too long. It's just I try to go as quick as I can until my hand cramps. <laughs> and then I have these two. And these are my daughter's favorite. The There's an orange one and a brown one, and they're both the same. And they're multi-petaled instead of the four or five petal. Oops, sorry, I'm out of frame there. But I really, really love how they came out. And these are all going to a friend. So I hope she likes them. And I actually have a little bit more that I had made, but I'm not going to show them because I want some to be a surprise. But yeah, that's what I did the other day. I wanted you guys to see what I was up to. I hope you like them. If you do, leave a comment, like the video, subscribe. Um, I also have a birthday challenge going on until the end of April, so if you want, check it out. I'll talk to you all later. Bye.